Hello, I am back from my hiatus for uh, the JavaScript HTML5 game framework videos. I've had some uh, a request to finish them up, and because of my uh, hiatus, I, I was off doing a bunch of stuff and uh, jobs, and so uh, now I'm back. I've got time finally to continue on. Uh, so I want to first go over, re-go over the intersection of rectangles. Now uh, I want to go over it because my last one was. Uh, terrible. Uh, I did this big if statement and then I did some annotation over the video because I just didn't have time to fix it and um, I want to come back and do a proper way of redoing it or a proper video for it. So I want to start by explaining this logic. Um, I was I was having trouble with the other one. I was having issues and I wanted to figure out a way to do it uh, where it would work obviously so it dawned on me hey I'll just draw it out and do a couple uh, just look at it and, and analyze it and it can't and I noticed that no matter where you put the rectangle one of the corners from one of the rectangle will be inside of the other one no matter where even if it's on the edge there will always be a corner contained within the other rectangle so even though this rectangle doesn't contain the corners of this larger one this larger one contains the corners of the smaller one so we have to do two if checks. So if we check on this first one and no corners are contained, we can't say it's not intersecting because it is. So we have to check w what it's uh, intersecting with and do the same thing in reverse. And it is containing the corners, so it is intersecting. So I'll go over that logic right now. Uh, so we'll start off by saying making the function this intersects equals function uh, shape. We're passing shape because uh, we will have ovals um, or circles later and they uh, are not rectangles so we call it a shape and we want to be able to check between rectangles and uh, circles whether they're intersecting so uh, speaking of circles we need to make a var offset um, actually in this one it's hard to say yeah we need to make a var offset uh, let's just set it to zero for now and then let's say if shape dot radius is not equal to null then offset is equal to shape dot radius so now we need to do the main check so it's pretty simple we're going to use our contains function that we created down here so all we have to do is say if this dot contains shape dot x and let's add the offset to that, plus offset, uh, which in the case of two rectangles will be zero. So uh, it's just shape x, really, between two rectangles. Um, and let's put a comma, and let's say shape dot y. So if it touches the top left corner, in fact, I'm going to do the offsets after so it doesn't get confusing. So if shape, and x, or shape x and y are contained within a, uh, this rectangle, then it's intersecting. That's the top left. Or if this dot contains shape dot x plus shape dot width and shape dot y, you can guess that is the top left corner. Now we want to do the bottom. No, that's the top right corner. Sorry. Um, now we want to do the bottom left. So this dot contains shape dot x. Uh, we're not going anywhere else on the x. And do shape dot y plus shape dot height. That's the bottom left. Or if this dot contains the bottom right, which will be shape dot x plus shape dot y. Oh, sorry, <laughs> shape dot width, and then shape dot y plus shape dot height. Uh, then we return true. So if any of the corners of the incoming shape are within this rectangle, we, re we will return true. Now we're going to do an else. So uh, if that's not true, as I said, we do an else if, uh, and we want to do the inverse. So replace all the thises with shape. Just copy and paste it over. And replace all the shape arguments of contains to this. And just copy that across all of them those all right 
right, so now you should have only four shapes in this next if. That's good. And at the very end, return false because neither of them uh, were true. So now we want to add our offset for spheres, uh, sorry, circles, not spheres. And we're going to add that to the X. So that will bring, uh, if our, let me bring up my paint. If we have a center point here, and we're getting our radius from it, if we do the minus on the X, we'll come over here to this side, but we need to be really up here if we're checking against rectangles and circles. So we not only need to uh, do, sorry, we not only need to minus the offset on the X, but we need to minus the offset uh, radius on the Y as well to get us that top left corner, which is actually like right here. So that's what we're doing with the offset. Uh, I know that this intersection won't be pixel perfect between rectangles and uh, circles, but it'll be pretty good for what we want. So let's just minus the offset from uh, the end of all of these. So we should have one, two, oh, this is spelled wrong. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One for each of uh, each of these cases uh, multiplied by two because there's one on the x and one on the y. So we're going to do the same thing on the bottom one. Subtract offset from all of these. And then again, it should be 8 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so now we have our proper uh, intersection function finished, uh, a better one than my previous one. So if I open up it here, it's using the old version of uh, intersection, which works, as you can see, but has some special cases where it doesn't work. So if I refresh it, we will, we should have the same exact thing if I didn't get any errors. There we go. I refreshed, same exact thing, no errors. So uh, this is a better intersects function, and uh, thanks for checking uh, watching uh, the series. Um, you can pause it here to get it copied down. I'll also post it up on the website so you can copy, you can, or I'll give you the link to this so that you can copy it directly. Um, but I hope you just follow it along because you learn better that way. So uh, thanks for watching. And then the next video, I'm going to be going over vector twos, which are specifically uh, for really for 2D. So uh, when we start doing some cool stuff, if you ever used Unity or XNA, I'm pretty sure you know what a vector two is. And we're going to make something similar and a little, a few expansions on it. So thanks for watching.